wish you a very lovely good morning my dear class fourth students we will start new chapter of your mathematics book which is geometry come let's first learn about the basics of geometry children we know that all geometric figures are built by basic figures like point line line segment rays and plane let us revise these basic figures first is plane plane is a flat surface it extend, extends infinitely in all different directions it has no boundary as you can see the all the sides are showing us arrow which means it is extended infinitely towards the, all the directions with no boundaries okay this is called plane next next is point a point indicates a position in space it has no length breadth or thickness here pqr sorry prs are all points in space and we read them as point p point q and point r next is line a line contains an infinite number of points as you can see here these small points when are combined together uh, make a line the arrow at the end of the given line indicates that line has no beginning or end that means a line extends in both the directions infinitely means the arrow at the end ha uh, indicates that the line has no end it goes on and on in a straight line we represent it as letter p q with a line on it it is read it as p q or q p with a line on it as a symbol next is this uh, figure of line look at this a line can be named as any two point on it such as in this line we can read or name the line as ab bc ac cb ca or ba any two points on a line can be taken to name it okay next a line can also be named on a single small letter for example here you can see small l is also a line next kind of straight lines horizontal line or we can say sleeping line sleeping line is the horizontal line vertical line means standing line standing line means vertical line okay and slanting line or oblique line this is slanting line this is in mid one it is vertical line and the top one is horizontal line these are the different kind of straight lines next is line segment a line segment contains a finite number of points it is a fixed distance between two points on a line it has two end points it is written as de or ed with a line segment symbol on it now let us see how to measure a line segment the distance between two point is called the length of the segment the to measure a line segment we use a ruler this is a ruler the ruler is marked with centimeter 
each centimeter this is 1 centimeter from 0 to 1 each centimeter is divided in 10 e 10 parts here it is divided in 10 parts and each part is of 1 millimeter so let's see how we can measure in this figure we can see a b line segment we have put a zero on point a and mark and now we will mark how many uh, what is the length of the line segment it is of 5 centimeter next in this line segment we can see c and d line segment and to know this we will follow the same step we will put zero on point c to start the to uh, to start seeing the length of the line segment and it goes to 3.5 centimeter next is ray a ray contains an infinite number of point a ray has one end point the other end of the ray is extended infinitely xy is a ray it contain it can be read as ray xy as we always start with end point do not read it as yx okay this can't be readed as yx we always start with the end point from in this from x to y okay next this point can be read in this we can name this uh, ray as ray a b or a c with the starting point only not from the middle anywhere i hope you have learned the basic figures about geometry thank you all